everyone and this is Tasha Morris. Welcome back again to my channel. For today's lesson or discussion, we will discuss what is this style and how to solve for ungrouped data. So what is this style? These tiles are the score points that divide a distribution into 10 equal parts. There are 9 deciles which are denoted by D sub 1, D sub 2, D sub 3, D sub 4, D sub 5, D sub 6, D sub 7, D sub 8, D and D sub 9. In such organization of data, 10% falls below D sub 1, 20% falls below D sub 2. 2 and so on and 90% falls below D sub 9 it is illustrated below so D sub 1 is 10% D sub 1 to D sub 2 is 10% D sub 2 to D sub 3 is 10% D sub 3 to D sub 4 is, is 10% D sub 4 to D sub 5 is 10%. D sub 5 to D sub 6 is 10%. D sub 6 to D sub 7 is 10%. D sub 7 to D sub 8 is 10%. D sub 8 to D sub 9 is 10%. And D sub 9 is 10%, so a total of 100%. This cell is divided into 10 equal parts. So this is the formula for this cell. So this cell formula for ungrouped data. So we have here D sub K is equals to K times n plus 1 over 10 or the for t divide 10 because decile is divided by into 10 equal parts so where k is equals to 9 decile and n is the number of data so we have here the decile formula for group data so, D sub K is equals to lower boundary times K times N over 10 minus cumulative frequency before over the frequency of the decile class times interval. So, where LB is the lower boundary of the D sub K class, N is the total frequency, cumulative CFB is the cumulative frequency of the class before the D sub K class. FDK is, is the frequency of the decile class. In I is the size of the class interval. K is the ninth decile where N is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Depends on what is asked. Or what is the problem? So finding the cells of ungrouped data. Example 1, number 1. The following are the result of a survey made in grade 10 classes to determine the number of learners who would want to take accounting and business management strand. So these are the following data or the result. So we have here 35, 20, 10, 12, 15, 18, 25, 31, 11, 15, 16. So find or compute for this sub 3 and interpret. So solution is number one step. Arrange the data from smallest to highest data. So we have to arrange 10, 11, 12, 15, 15, 16, 18, 20, 25, 31, and 
35. So there, is, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 data. So step 2 is we have to substitute the given to the formula to locate the position of the test sub 3. So given, since our given is this sub 3, so our k is 3, our n for the total number of data is 11. So we have the formula b sub k is equal to k times n plus 1 over 10. So d sub 3 is equal to, we have to substitute for k and n, 3 times 11 plus 1 is over 10. So d sub 3 is equal to 36 over 10. And 36 over 10 is 3.6. So step 3, apply interpolation if the result is not exact. This sub 3 is located in between the third and fourth data, which are 12 and 15 respectively. So, this sub 3 is equal to lower value plus decimal part or higher value minus lower value. So, this sub 3 is equal to 12 plus 0.6 times 15 minus 12. So, this sub 3 is equals to 12 plus 9 over 5. So, 9 over 5 plus 12 is equals to, this sub 3 is equals to 13.8. Thus, the value of this sub 3 is 13.8. It means that 30% of the data set falls below or equal to 13.8 Compute for this sub 7 and interpret Solution Step 1 Arrange the data from smallest to highest Step 2 Substitute the given to the formula to locate the position of the this sub 7 So, this sub 7 given is k is 7 and our n is equals to 11. So we have to substitute the formula. This sub 7 is equals to 7 times 11 plus 1 over 10. So this sub 7 is equals to 84, point, 84 over 10 for 80.4. Apply the interpolation if the result is not exact. So lower value plus decimal part times higher value minus lower value. So we have here 20 plus 0.4 times 25 to 20. 20 plus 2 and equals to 22. Thus, the value of this sub 7 is equal to 22. It means that 70% of the data set falls below or equal to 22. So that's all for today guys. This is Teacher Morris and everything is simple unless you make it complicated. Thank you everyone. See you in my next video.